After collecting my bees from the orange droves of Central Florida, I drove them back to Northeast Florida in the back of my Jeep. Today I'll be extracting that delicious orange blossom honey in my toy room. I know my setup's a little primitive, but I'm a small time beekeeper, so I make do with what I've got. This is my extracting room setup. I've got a Vivo extractor, it's a uh, four frame deep or eight medium or short. Um, I've got a deep body right now that's full of, almost full of orange blossom honey. I've got a space heater here, towels at the base of this door. I close this door off and with the space heater on full blast, I can get the temperature in here about to 100 degrees, uh, which is perfect for getting everything nice and liquefied so it comes out of the frames easily. Uh, I use a decapping tool to take my caps off because this isn't total, these frames aren't totally, um, they're not totally capped. As you can see, I've got, I don't know if you figured it all out, it's probably about half capped here and a quarter capped on the back side. Uh, but I, just to be, you know, to let you know, some people will say, oh, you shouldn't extract honey that's in this state because it's not ready yet, liquid content wise. Well. I tested a bunch of these cells on different frames just to be certain with my refractometer and every single one I got less than 16.5% um, and so I know that this honey is it's liquid gold. After the cappings are removed I insert the frames into the extractor. I use a setting of about 30 or 40, run them for about 5 minutes, flip them over and repeat. I could listen to the hum of the extractor for hours. But there's nothing better than opening that honey gate and watching that liquid gold flow. This is my toy room, which I'm using today as my bottling room uh, to show you how I bottle my honey. I've got these 8 ounce bears that I purchased on the internet. Um, this is a 2 gallon bucket which I got from a hardware store. Uh, if I can find a link, I'll put it in the, in, in the description. I'll do the same with the honey bears and the honey gate that I purchased online. Um, used a hole saw, drilled it inside the two gallon bucket and that's where my honey flows out from. I got real high tech with my labels. I used my printer and my computer. I designed the label just using a picture, a still shot from a video that I took of an uh, orange blossom being pollinated by a bee and put a little name on it. Wrote on there that it's orange blossom and it's from March of 2019. Where I collect my orange blossom honey, it's in, this, it's in central Florida on a few thousand acres of orange groves surrounded by more thousands of acres of orange groves. Um, so you can see the color of this honey. Um, it's just, it's really golden, um, light, light golden color, let's say. The flavor that you get from this is unreal. I wanted to test it compared to something that you get from the store. So I bought some from a local grocery store and I think you can see the difference in color there. The purchased one from the grocery, grocery store is much, much darker. And it also doesn't have quite the floral flavor that straight out of the orange grove has. Not that that's not straight out of an orange grove, but I'm willing to bet that they mix this with something else to make it go a little further. Mine is not mixed with anything other than the sparse wildflowers that are, you know, dotting um, the sides of the groves, which there aren't many of them out there. Um, but I'll show you how I, how I bottle. Again, two gallon bucket filled with delicious orange blossom honey that I extracted last week. I open up my honey gate and let the liquid gold flow. Once it gets near the top, I'll close it off. Ooh, I got a little too much with that one. Typically I'll close it off and I'll have another bear ready to go, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'll show you how I label. Um, we'll just catch another one under it so it can pick up anything falling. And then my high tech labels, like I said, just some packing tape and a label I printed on my computer. Cut off the excess tape on the sides because the tape's a little too wide. For the uh, the honey, Oops, there it is. And that's all there is to it. Um, I guess there is one other thing: the cap. The, these caps are awesome because they come, and like I said, the links down in the description. They come with a seal inside. That's what that white thing is. So when you bottle it and you put the cap on, that seal adheres to the plastic honey bear. 
Uh, so when you give them away to people as gifts, which is what I do, um, they open it up and they always want to try it right away, but the seal's there, so it looks pretty legit. Looks like you uh, have a serious operation going, but really I'm just in this little room in my house. Uh, but that's really all there is to it. Uh, I'll put links to the little products that I've got here in the description. Um, bottling your honey is really easy and using these eight ounce bears is perfect for someone that's like basically backyard like me who wants to be able to give away the honey but doesn't want to give it away in large quantities wants to make it go far now you know if you look on the internet you can find smaller bears i think there's even two ounce bears out there two ounce six ounce eight ounce maybe even five ounce i think i've seen and then bigger than that 12 16 and so on uh, but i feel like eight ounces is a great amount to give away as gifts uh, people that are getting these things don't feel like you're shafting them uh, but that's it hope you enjoyed it that's the extent of the extracting and bottling setup from my orange blossom extraction in 2019 if you've got any questions about the products i use during this video i'll leave some links down below in the description if you have any comments or questions leave those down below like and subscribe thanks for watching and we'll see you next time